This is our West Kingdom series ranking from, let's try again. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to the New Shelves. I'm Judy. And I'm Michael. Today we have something special as you can see lying in front of us. We sure do. Today we are going to be ranking mm -hmm. all three games in the West Kingdom series. We love them so much. We're going to talk about them. Mm -hmm. It's true. We are going to be ranking them, mm -hmm. but it's we tough. do like them all. It's tough. Yeah. What I find fascinating about these games, and one of the reasons why I wanted to rank them, mm -hmm. is anytime people talk about these three games mm -hmm. in, in groups and different discussions, yeah. nobody can agree on which one is the best. Yeah. I mean, there is not a clear-cut choice here. And the reason is, is that they are different and they fit different people's idea of what they want to play. Yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. If that makes sense. I feel that too. Yeah, I mean, they're obviously similar because they're in the same series. Mm -hmm. They share, you know, the artwork is similar and mm -hmm. some of the the well, the theming is the same. Yeah. But the games are, are different enough mm -hmm. and not just different as in mechanics, but the weight of them as well. Yes. Right? Some are really meaty. And <laughs> yes. some I really love it but hate it because it's so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I love it now. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. <laughs> no, yeah. I know what you mean by I love it and I hate it because yeah. it just hurts your brain. and So all. much. Yeah. So the three games here are, first of all, Architects of the West Kingdom, mm -hmm. which is probably the lightest of the three. Yes. And um, it is, uh, like Shem Phillips does very well, mm -hmm. it is a worker placement game mm -hmm. with a twist. Mm -hmm. So what you're doing is you're sending your workers out on the board and most of the spots are can be shared by multiple um, workers, including yeah. your own. Mm -hmm. And this is the part that I love about this game is that the more workers you put on each spot, mm -hmm. the more powerful that spot becomes to you, for mm -hmm. you. So for example, if you put one meeple on the, the forest, mm -hmm. you get a wood. Mm -hmm. But when you put a second worker there, now you get two wood that time. Mm -hmm. So it's getting more and more powerful. Yeah. But your opponent can capture those workers if mm -hmm. they become too powerful and sell them off to the prison. It's quite interesting if you think of it like showing on the movie. Because you have workers collecting all the resources. But hey, hey too many people. We're going to capture some. Absolutely. Sell them for money. You're becoming too powerful. And I, I think that's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, so that's... And you're you're helping to build the cathedral. and Yeah, you my know, favorite part. Yeah. And you have different buildings. And it's got, it's got a bit of a... A, not a deck builder, but you are building. You mm -hmm. have different um, apprentices yes, and buildings yes. that give you bonus points and that. Mm -hmm. But it's a basic worker placement game yeah. with that twist. Yes, I love that. Yeah. Then the next one mm -hmm. was Paladins of the West Kingdom. Whew. Whew, which I hate it, but I love it now. <laughs> yeah. Holy. <laughs> Holy is right. So this one is different. Um, it. It is a worker placement, but most of your worker placement is done on your own board. Yes. And you are trying to um, add workers to your board based on the color to give you different attributes, which mm -hmm. help you, you. For example, you need to have um, more strength in order to do some actions. And yeah. you need, it's a balancing act of bringing up attributes to make other spots open and yeah, available. available. Yes. Right? Yes. And we found out very quickly that in this game, you get, it's a bit point salady. You get points for opening up different spots, but you don't get points until you open up far enough. I was going to say point salady, no. <laughs> well, not point salady in, in, there are times where we were thinking the game's almost over and we have zero points. Yeah. But that's because if you do a little bit of everything, mm -hmm. you're getting zero points for all, all of those spots. It's at the end, right? Right. You have to open up the spots far enough mm -hmm. to open up where you start getting points. Yeah. That's that's the part I was very frustrated with because I was quite new to gaming and by doing all the strategies I have, I usually am one spot right before the score. So at the end of the game, I try so hard, I get two points. <laughs> it is so sad. It's so, you had so many that you were, you were doing well on all of them, but not well enough to start gaining you points for them. You gotta focus on one spot and just drill it, right? Yes, you do, but you can't because you can't only focus on one because then your other attributes aren't high enough That's true. in That's order true. to open them up. But yeah, oh, it's such a balancing act. Yes. So yes. that was Paladins, which is obviously a lot thinkier than Architects. Yes. And if you think that's thinkier than that, 
Wait until you see bike counts. <laughs> right? <laughs> Even more. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, I actually found this one think- more thinky than really? bike counts. Uh, but I can see I can see both. Yes. I, I, I seen this one is so thinky. Mm. I want to cry sometimes. <laughs> and I can see that too. Yeah. So so Viscounts is again different than the other two. Yes, Viscounts very. of the West Kingdom is uh, it is more of a deck builder, mm-hmm. whereas these games aren't really deck builders. These are more worker placements. Yes, yes. And this one, you're moving your Viscount around the main board, mm-hmm. but you are um, building your deck, which is your engine mm-hmm. for how you are going to um, um, recruit those um, people, right? Yeah, your apprentices and, yeah. and things. And, and exactly. And all of them have different symbols on them, and those symbols allow you to do different actions on the board. Mm-hmm. But again, like Shem Phillips, does so well it's it's a deck builder with a twist yeah and the twist in this deck builder is you don't play your five cards and do everything you can with those five cards Mm -hmm. you play one card and put it on your board yeah and then it slides down and then you play another card and put it on your board on the next turn and then it slides down and you play a third card on your board now all the those three cards are accumulating you can accumulate the the all the different symbols on them to do different actions Mm -hmm. When you place another card, they all slide down. Mm -hmm. So the first one you placed now falls off. You're pushing people off the castle. You're pushing people (laughs) off. So you have this little engine that's always changing because as they're sliding down, cards are falling off the end as you're adding new ones. Change fast too. It does change fast. And there's a castle in the middle of the board where you're putting your meeples on the castle to storm the castle and get different um, resources and and things like that. I have to say, this is quite new to me still, but... Because of those times we play and I try different things and I still haven't find the right strategy to it. And this is quite overwhelming because there are many things happen at the same time. That's true. That's so true. So I, I still think this is hardest. Right. Right now. Right. But this is getting better now. I, I, I started to find some twists that I can, the tricks. you know, yeah. yeah, I can, I can tweak a little bit sure. on that one. Yeah. So that's the lightest, yeah. medium, and that's the hardest to play. Do you know why I feel like, for me, Paladins is heavier than Viscounts? Mm-hmm. Because in Viscounts, you can get away with really focusing only on one thing. Mm-hmm. If I want to really just focus on storming the castle, mm-hmm. that's what I'm going to do. Just go for it. Just go for it. Yeah. Where you can't do that in Paladins no. because you have to balance everything out. That's what I'm good at, though. I, I know. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> this is my point. Exactly. This is why I feel. Yes. And I'm fascinated by the fact that all three of these yes. suit different people's playing styles. Yes. And I think that's incredible. Yes. And I, I didn't find the way to play this until a couple more plays. Mm. And I realized, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Just be myself and play the way I always do. <laughs> don't overthink it. <laughs> go for it. Yes. Well, there you go. Yes. Okay. So why don't we start ranking them by our now our favorites. favorites okay. okay. Uh, controversial. This is going to be controversial. <laughs> it could be. It could be. <laughs> but I really want to emphasize here. Yes. Base game only. Yes, of course. Okay. We don't put the um, expansion on. Right. We'll do a video with the expansions later. This mm-hmm. is base game only. Oh, my goodness. So hard. Okay. Okay. Number three. Which one is your third favorite of the three? Oh. Your yeah. least favorite. I don't like saying least favorite because... We love them all. We love them all. <laughs> There's no least yeah, favorite here. We really do like them all. It's like we're sending all of them to college, okay? <laughs> all of them <laughs> you are don't going. You have to choose what kid to send to college. <laughs> okay, which one is your... Uh, oh. Let's not say least favorite. Which one okay. is your third favorite? So my third favorite, I have to say, is Viscounts. Oh, interesting. Yes. Okay. I find for the style I play anyways... Yeah. I can't focus when thing uh, when it's too overwhelming. Okay. So this game, I need to be focused on every bit, and I find it hard for me mm-hmm. to concentrate. Okay, there's a lot going on. Yeah. There's a lot going on. Yeah. You have your board. You've got mm-hmm. the main board in the middle where your Viscounts go. Yes. You've got um, the the collisions that happen with yes. the... Um, yes, the corruption yeah. and the... Yeah, it's... The virtue, exactly. It's, it's all happening, and I want yep. to do everything... But I can't do everything. <laughs> and it's funny because when you go on the map, it matters where you go up or down. And that I still haven't figured out yet. Right. I think I 
I'm only talking about playing with you. I can't beat you just yet, and I am. Hmm. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, no, yes. you are right. Your viscount moves along the path, and if you stay on the top path, you can do certain you get, actions. Yes. If you go down to the bottom path, you can do different actions, yes. and it's how you move and how many spaces you're allowed to so move. So many fun stuff. What are you gonna choose? And yeah. I, I can't really many games that I need to like play at least twenty times. <laughs> I'm an old times. lady trapped in this body, okay? <laughs> 20 plus times to figure out what is going on and find my best strategy. But isn't that the beauty of it? Is that I love games where you never feel like you've mastered it. You're always learning new strategies. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. That's funny. What is your third one? All right, so Judy's third is Viscounts. Yes. My third favorite is Paladins of the West Kingdom. <laughs> Yeah, Paladins is my third favorite. Mm -hmm. And again, I like Paladins. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying I don't like Paladins. Yeah. Now, there's a couple reasons why. Okay. I didn't think I was like this, mm -hmm. but I realize I'm becoming more like this. Okay. And it's in my own mind. Okay. I like it when a board game tells me a story. Oh, I know. I know right? what you mean. I'm not saying the game has to be narrative. I'm not saying there has to be a whole bunch of text and, and books and, mm -hmm. and a whole storyline that goes with it. But in mm -hmm. my mind, I feel like I understand the game more if it's telling me a story, mm -hmm. almost like, a, like you said, like a film, like a movie playing out as I'm playing my yeah. pieces. I don't quite get that from Paladins. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like it's a great puzzle. Mm -hmm which I love because I do like this game. Mm -hmm. Don't forget. But it, I don't get that feeling of like when you choose the paladin that you're going to play, which gives you workers, I don't really feel the connect in why that's happening. Yeah. Yes, there are some things that I really like about how um, there's the, the shared map in the middle. There's the outsiders that come in and you can yes. either recruit them or defeat them. And, and I, I do like all that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it just doesn't quite give me that story that mm -hmm. I like. Um, mm -hmm. And the, the second thing is, again, we're only talking base game. Yes. I feel like it's same, same every time I play it. I see what you mean. There's not really anything changed. You kind of predict what's going to happen. Right. Yeah. yeah. It, it, there's not a lot of variance in the gameplay, mm -hmm. which is fine because, <laughs> trust me, I have not mastered this game. <laughs> And I can play it a no million times can. and still not master it. Um, yeah. But mm -hmm. it's still a little same thing for me. Mm -hmm. It's not a bad thing. I do like this game, but that's no. just why it's my number yeah. three. Yeah, absolutely. They have very different tastes into it. Yeah. And I like that. I yeah. like that about games. Totally. Yeah. Totally. Sounds good. Yeah. Do you want to carry on with number two? Well, you go ahead. What's your number two? It's going to be so controversial. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Number two. It's going to be Paladins. <laughs> oh, wow. I, You know what? Before we film, like when we were still talking about this, I'm going to say, yeah, you know what? I think I like Paladin the most, I think. But then we are down here setting this up and I'm mm -hmm. looking at Architect. I'm like... No way. No way. Nothing is going to take away from my love for, yeah. for Architect. I thought I that's what I would have guessed from you. Um, yeah. Because I know so, how much you love it. I had a really, like you said earlier, I grow on Paladins. And it took me so many plays to actually grow on it. Mm -hmm. Like a strong feeling we're talking about. And I, I know what you mean by you kind of predict what's going to happen. But I like it because it's a game that... I will be able to get familiar with it and practice how I change mm -hmm. my strategies. Yep. By I'm familiar with it sure. and I can change the way and that helps me with other games. And I think Paladin is perfect for that. It, you know what? Absolutely. A hundred percent I agree with that. Because mm -hmm. like I said, it's a very if to me it feels like a very puzzly game. Yes, very. And which is great. Yeah. Like but, you practice puzzle, right? <laughs> that's right. Yeah. It's not, it, but it doesn't quite have that story aspect mm -hmm. to me, mm -hmm. which or, is what you like. Or maybe it doesn't connect in my mind the story. Maybe mm -hmm. that's what it is. But yeah, no. By what I said, totally. <laughs> in fact, that's kind of why I thought it would be your number one because yeah. I I know you really love that puzzly mm -hmm. that puzzly feeling in games where you have love to it. balance things. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's so Paladins second. is your second. Yeah. Almost my first. 
until I see my first love. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, what's your second? I want to say architect. You know what? It might be Viscount. You know. You know what? Architect. <laughs> <laughs> Not changing my mind. Viscount. Which is it? Which one is my second? I can't guess. I know you like architect. You know what? I want to say your second is architect. Okay. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> architect. My second is architect. <laughs> <laughs> What do I win? Yeah, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> My second is Architects of the、mm -hmm. West Kingdom.、Uh, fantastic game.、Mm -hmm. Love it. I I adore that mechanic of if you build up too many workers in one spot, your、um, opponents can capture you and send you off into jail.、Yeah. And the funny thing is about that is. You don't just send them to jail. You、yeah. take your workers. You, when you capture workers, you put them in your on your own board first. Yeah. And if you can hold them there, they're kind of stuck. That is awesome. And you want them to sell them to the prison. Yeah. Even though you you'll get money for them. Yeah. But they're so much easier to release back. Yeah. So you can use them again. Sometimes you get stuck where you've got no workers, and、uh, it's just it's it is a great game.、Um, The reason why it wasn't quite my number one, and I would say it's very close, is、mm -hmm. it's a little bit lighter,、mm -hmm. which is great.、Mm -hmm. uh, it's a great game if you just want to、uh, put it out on the table quickly and just get playing. And you need to think, of course, but、mm -hmm. it's a little bit just kind of collecting resources、yeah. and and、um, just trying to get your timing right for things. Yeah, it's relaxing, which I love. Yes,、um, but it's just.、Uh, I prefer games with a little bit more meat to them. Yeah, that's all. A little meaty. A little meaty. <laughs> that's all. But I love、yeah. Architects, and yeah, it was a tough choice between the two. But that is、mm -hmm. my second. Well, it's tough to choose from the it, three. <laughs> it's true.、Uh, yeah, so hard for me. This was clearly my third choice. Okay. Pre that was pretty obvious for me, but it's it's yeah, it's hard for me to choose.、Yeah. Um. Okay. So we're gonna move on to number one then. Well, I think we can figure it out now. But let's <laughs> let's talk about it and let's talk about why. So your、mm -hmm. number one is so architect、mm -hmm. is my number one.、Mm -hmm. Like I say, first love. Yeah. This is the first game I play out of those three. Yes. Yeah, it was、and、the first one that was released, right? Like you say, it's easy to play if you Friday night. Say Friday night, you're tired. You want to play something fun, thinky but not too meaty and、yep. not taking too long. This is perfect. It is. I love the story、sure、that the game is bringing you. I'm. I feel immersed. I just want to capture your worker、mm -hmm. onto my player board and not release and see you screaming and crying <laughs> until I really need money. Then I'll fine release them. You are the worst. You are the worst. <laughs> the best, but the worst. It was so. You capture、fun. my meeples, my workers, and you just hold on to them forever. I'm not in a hurry, <laughs> and it's so expensive to get them back. And、oh. that's, I love it. And、yeah. you know what? Like I say, that depends who you play with. Yes. And like how many times you play、yeah. it. And I think this game, every time I play, I had a good time. And we didn't mention there is black market in this、mm, one. That's true. Where you can, you know, without ta paying tax、yeah. and doing other stuff、yeah. and buying expensive resources. It is so fun. Yeah, yeah, no, ab absolutely. You're absolutely. I still、right. have many strategies that I could have used. Yeah, I haven't done yet、uh, in this game. It's And, true. There yeah, are lots.、It. Exactly. Like it's. That's why for paladins. That's、mm. why I say paladins is a little same same for me、mm. every time. Whereas architects, there's so many ways you can go. So many.、And、I love how they connect the virtue track on the side. Yes. So as you are, be you know, you're doing kind of nefarious. Things dabbling in the black market and things,、yeah. your virtue is going down.、Yeah. Now the cool thing about that is, as your virtue goes down, all of a sudden, guess what? You don't have to pay taxes, tax free, things like that, because <laughs> you're bad. But、yeah. as your virtue starts going up, if it、yeah. goes high enough, now you're so virtuous that you're not allowed to go to the black market anymore,、not、and all anymore. these things. It's just, it's, it's so fun. Got that story for me. Yes, I love that. That's what I love about it.、It's, me too. Like you said earlier. In this in this video, you said about、um, 
It feels like you have all your workers out, you know, chopping down trees in the forest and they're all just doing your work for you. And then the, your competitors come and say, whoa, 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 this company's too strong. I, that's it. I'm capturing you. Like it's yeah. got a story that I love. Yeah. And I love, and again, some stories connect more in my mind than others. Mm -hmm. So that's on me. I'm not saying that oh, everybody sure. feels the same. For but sure. I feel that story in Architects. Yes. And I love that. Yeah, me And too. I'm surprised that's not your first one. Really? <laughs> Really? Because I know how you like storylines in story, yeah. uh, in games, and yeah. I, I thought that is full of stories. It I is. know this one is, it's got story in it too. Yeah. But just how, when you play this one, I've, I, I can see you really enjoy it. Not, not that you did in this one, but I see a lot of enjoyment. In that. <laughs> it's true. It, I, you are right, a hundred percent. And it, these two were very close it for me. It is very close, yeah. Very, very close. Mm -hmm. Um, and the story yes. that I feel that I'm telling when I'm playing this game is one of the main reasons yes. why it was almost number one. Mm -hmm. The reason my Viscounts though was my number one. There are a couple reasons. Mm -hmm. One, it's meteor. Mm -hmm. It's it's thinkier. It just it makes it engages yes. my brain a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's not mechanically speaking, mm -hmm. but the feeling I get when I play it, mm -hmm. it's the perfect combination of these two. I see what you mean. I do. It's got the puzzle that Paladins has, mm -hmm. but it also has the variety and the the story yes. that Architects has. Yes. For me. Mm -hmm. um, and I love that. Mm -hmm. I like how, like I said earlier, there are different, you can focus on something and just go for it. Yes. Right. Um, I played with my friend a while ago and I, I hadn't tried it yet. I, I said, I'm just going to storm the castle. That's all I'm going to do. Just storm the castle. Yeah. I, I mean, you have to do other things to get resources. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's all I did was storm the castle. Um, and then there are the... Um, the manuscripts you can get. Yes. You can go that route if you want and they mm -hmm. get you bonus points. Or There's just all these different things you can do. And so many. I love that. Mm -hmm. uh, and there are so many things that, you know, strategies I haven't tried yet. Mm -hmm. But I think what did it for me, what, what pipped it over Architects for me, mm -hmm. I love games that have a very interesting end game mechanic. Oh, this one definitely. Yeah. It's got a really cool end game mechanic. So you yes. have your... Um, your debts and your deeds, mm -hmm. I think they're called, right? Yes. Debts and deeds. Mm -hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong with those. But so there's the black cards and the red cards. Mm -hmm. Depending on how many pl players there are, how many of each cards are yeah, in the yeah. stack. And then you play and the game continues until one of those stacks is empty. Yeah. Now this, and I love it because it tricked me the first couple times I played it mm -hmm. where I got it wrong and it messed me up. If the black cards, the debt cards are out first, mm -hmm. then you score victory points based on how many red cards you have acquired. If the deeds deck is emptied first, yeah. then you get victory points based on how many black cards you have. So once you start seeing, say, the debt card deck getting really close to the end, you yeah. start thinking, uh-oh, I need to start collecting deeds because that's what you're going to get bonus points if you have the most in the game. Yeah. And vice versa. Yeah. Whereas the first couple times I played it, I was like, okay, the debt card deck is is uh, almost empty. Great, I've got tons of debts. And then I realized, wah, wah, oh no, wow. it's the other way. <laughs> it's the opposite. And I just, it's it was so neat. It's, it's such a simple thing, but it's so clever. I don't yeah, know. I really is. liked it. I really, really, really enjoyed it. I, I do enjoy that too. Yeah. So we really enjoyed the whole trilogy yes. of all three of them. We sure do. Let us know. I'm sure it's hard for you to pick as well, mm. but let us know what's your favorite out of the trilogy. Yeah. I'm actually really curious. Please leave comments because yes. like I said earlier, mm -hmm. nobody agrees on this, but I also think most people can understand why other people who have different opinions. I mean, I can see why people like all three of them. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. In my, they're just, they're different games and they fit different types of players. Absolutely. Yeah. It's fascinating. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's really, really. So amazing. So glad it was designed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. No, no kidding. Now there are expansions for all of these. Yes. Which we will redo this video. 
but we will Very add soon. the expansions with them because, and hey, let's see if it changes how we feel about them. It exactly. might. Exactly. It might. Yeah. Right? Because I know like Raiders of the North Sea, for example, mm -hmm. I thought the base game was okay. Mm -hmm. But when you add the expansions, I thought it was... Knock your socks off. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Knock your socks off. <laughs> It's true. So we'll get to that. Yeah. So anyways, so leave comments. Let us know what you think and what your top three, or not top three, but your ranking of your these ranking, three are. Your ranking, yes. Um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It would really help a lot. Yes. Mm -hmm. Until next time. Go ahead and get another game off of your nerd shelves. Take care. Bye.